Hey, it's Jamie. Uh, I was going to shoot a video, but uh, right before I was going to, these guys rolled up. I guess uh, the next door neighbors caught their house on fire. Hopefully it's not a medical emergency, uh, but we'll see. Hey, it's Jamie. Back with some more updates on the BB-8 build. So, as you can see, I've got most of this together. I've kind of got some stuff clamped to kind of just do general fitting. I'm trying to see how things fit if I need to trim any parts down so they fit better. A lot of them we weren't even glued together yet, but uh, we're getting to that point where I need to start doing that. So, uh, but I wanted to kind of give you an update on the ball, how it's going. Uh, I'll have to install this panel here. And then what I'm going to be doing is taking the triangles, uh, these ones here and these ones here, and attaching it to the ball, or to the, the circle section, panel section here. Uh, that will be removable, so I can get into the whole thing. I mean, it'll be probably about uh, that much of workspace. So I have, you know, this here that I can work with to change batteries and do whatever I need to do. So uh, once I get this all glued together, I'll be fiberglassing it like this is here. And uh, basically uh, putting another coat of fiberglass on the inside and then doing the aluminum uh, gel coat on the inside uh, to get it all smoothed out. But I uh, just want, kinda wanna give you an update on that. Uh, so there's my original ball. And the funny thing is I did some upgrades on the printer or uh, changed some settings on the printer. Uh, when I was originally printing out the parts for like these triangle pieces here, they're about a millimeter to two millimeters short uh, because of uh, the lead screws on my printer uh, for the, I think it's the Z-axis. Um, but I fixed that and started printing this one out and it's, it's come out quite well. So uh, the difference is, funnily enough, um, that this ball, the inside diameter is 20 inches. The ball on that one, the outside diameter is 20 inches so there's there's definitely a size difference i can actually fit that ball inside this one here so uh also want to give you an update on the internal drive mechanism so as you can see here i've got uh the design from uh ed z and this is a cnc cut aluminum bracket there's the motors uh those green parts at the end will go in but i need to make them longer uh, because with his design he used uh the uh, California quality plastics uh, 20 mil or uh, 20 inch uh, acrylic ball no it's a uh, polystyrene something like that um, it's a clear plastic ball and uh, the, the difference in gap you see there and, and there would be where the ball would be attached to the inside of this if you were to do that on his design he just used the ball as the as the setup so uh, there's a pendulum that goes in between here. There's a rod that goes from about there to there There's a pendulum that rocks back and forth. So if I want to turn the ball uh, The pendulum swings this way. I can take a tighter turn this way the Same thing with the other way around so it goes that way I can turn sharper that way and Then there's a head pendulum that goes up here so I can go backwards and forwards with that one And if I want to do a 360 I have to move both this pendulum and the one down below to get it to kind of rotate in a 360 fashion so uh, that's pretty much about it for the updates on the BB-8 so far. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. As I said, this is kind of something that nobody's done before uh, as far as uh, creating the ball for the BB-8. Uh, it's all 3D printed. That's been done before, but I'm actually making the whole ball fiberglass wrapped on the inside, uh, which I think is a cheaper way of doing it than going out and buying a $500 plastic sphere. Uh, so... As I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments the sections down below. Like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already done so. Uh, it lets me know you guys enjoy these videos and, and that um, uh, I'll continue to be making these. And as always, guys, do your thing. Thanks for watching.